to be your show every morning from 8 30 to whenever we get done but uh, anita we owe you a gift card i, I don't know if i've uh, put the word in that we need to send that out but uh um, do we send it do we uh, he, anita hill anita hill uh <laughs> Ooh, I feel fat this morning. Uh, but you know what? Me being fat is, it, it, it does not affect my confidence. Doesn't? No. I just feel Take fat. Take your shirt off. I ain't going to do that. Okay. But this morning, Weatherman, you really understand how to inflate people's confidence or help inflate. Right. So you don't treat everybody the same. Because I believe what confidence really boils down to is an inner belief in yourself. Yeah. That you can do whatever it is. Do you know the best way to produce confidence? Tell me. Is encouragement. Okay. Well, do you think that works universally for everybody? No. You know, most people, if if you don't need if you don't need somebody to assure confidence, your borderline people will call you arrogant. And so there's always this fine line between arrogance and confidence, discipline and abuse. And so there, you always teeter totter that line. Now. To me, arrogant people are very confident and is appealing to me. I love to hear people trash talk. I love to hear people talk about what they're doing because you know what it means? They're moving things. They're not just sitting there waiting on the world to come to them. They're going out and tackling the world. Coach Burt said it very well. You know, a lot of people may find him one way, but you know what he's doing? Nobody understood, like, this plane, his plane. Mm -hmm. He wants to get home to his family. Mm. And so, man, you know how powerful that is? So, man, my level of respect went straight up for him, that he's going to do whatever it takes to get back home. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, so that to me, he's a very confident guy. Grant Cardone's a very confident guy. LeBron James is a very confident guy. Why would you not want to be around? Well, how do you build this? How do you build this internally? What is the internal workings that need to take place? First of all, you got to take everything from your past and scratch it. Because that's what mm. that's what kind of tears you down. Mm, you're Ain't right. that right, Charlie? When you, when you look back, and Charlie's very good because Charlie's such Charlie, a nice guy. Charlie, we can't even guy. see you, man. Get and, in here. And, he, and he's so good, especially if you've been involved in church, to build others up and not tear them down. Oh, you were on fire. i got to slow you down. You're over. You're overconfident this morning. Weatherman, you're 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 so right about stripping your past. Because mm -hmm. I'm looking back at my past, and I always tell people I was very average. Mr. Mediocre was my name. Mm -hmm. That's what I named myself. And because looking back, I had such, in my opinion, little success, what that did moving forward is it created a lot of doubt, a lack of confidence. So you're so you're you're right on about how you're a past will affect your future if you allow it. Right. How do you scrap it? Well, first of all, you got to quit speaking it. So mm. whatever you can, and this is from my wife, because I, I didn't say to, it. I wish this microphone. You can some knuckles. I was going to go on microphone. <laughs> Boy, that man is over. He, he's <laughs> about to start, so about what it, start what sweating in So what it comes down you. to is it, it, so whatever you speak, you walk in. So mm. if, you, hey, if you say that you're mediocre, you're below average, that's what you're producing and you're walking in to the point of saying... Man, see, how, I can do everything. You know, I can do all things. And that's, that's scriptural. I'm not saying I'm trying to preach, You're not bragging, but are you? It, the problem is if you start believing those things and who you're made to be and who you're supposed to be, you will forget about the things that you're not. Well, there is a little trick. I think Tom Gavin had a, a question. We missed it up there. Um, exposing you and me to people better than you and me forces us to reach up. Reaching up and getting my teeth kicked in a few times builds mm. confidence, and that GTT is Ooh, I appreciate that. Man. Hey, Chris Clark, what's shaking, my man? So I, half of Charles. Who half is there? Cousin you. Charlie. Hey, hey, cousin so. Charlie, you could have been here, but you went over there at 829 to do something. I did. That a way to make his confidence feel. Well, that could have been taken care of at like 849, couldn't Charlie, you? I think I like you're amazing. Is. What did she say? Exhale, exhale your past and inhale your past. Well, what, what Weatherman was saying, see, I was having a little chat with Nicholas this morning about... Hey, how are you feeling right now? Because his report card came in, or his progress report. And I said, well, how do you feel right now? And he wouldn't answer me. I'm like, how do you feel right now? And he finally did this. I said, well, what you're saying, weatherman, it all starts with what you're telling yourself. Yeah. It all starts with what you believe in yourself. So I asked him repeatedly, okay, well, how do you feel about yourself now? And he kept doing that. And I would tell him, it all starts with how you start speaking to yourself. Absolutely. I said, well, how do you feel about yourself now? 
I said, we're going to sit here all day until you pick up to what I'm, (laughs) until you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So I asked him again. I said, well, how do you feel about yourself now? And he kind of did this. I'm like, (laughs) okay, let's, let's, so it's exactly what you're saying. The trick comes in at first, you're not really going to believe it. You just got to say it until it happens. There's going to be a lot of things that you're telling yourself that are very unrealistic. There's a lot of things that you're probably not going to believe, but that does not mean you can't keep telling yourself that. Absolutely. The, 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 the surer person usually wins in life. The most certain person usually wins at whatever it is they're doing. You can develop this skill. I know because it, looking at how I operated from my past, again, it, it was not my confidence level was not where I wanted it. It was not where it needed to be, but I could trick you. I could become confident when I could make you laugh. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could make us laugh. I could also appear confident when I'd make fun of myself. Right. But there's probably a little bit of a reason why I'm making fun of yeah. myself. Why is that? Most comedic people are the most insecure people mm-hmm. you ever meet because they're trying to fill a void of something they're very ashamed of. Mm-hmm. And mine growing up was poverty. And so you know, and single mom. And so you had to try to trump that with comedy mm-hmm. or, or sports or however you use these talents you have. A lot of time, that is what kind of makes you feel secure about yourself because people accept you because you don't accept yourself. Mm-hmm. And then once you learn to accept yourself, then your confidence level will go up. So I need to do a much better job in the house at building confidence within our walls. I need to do a better job of getting outside of what I want to do, and I need to do a much better job of help, because Nicholas is 11 years old. This is a year, or these are the years that are I'm going to help him, or I'm not going to help him. So I'm either helping him or I'm hurting him. So what are ways we could teach our kids to help them become more confident? If they're lacking confidence. Well, you got to think about this. You're around some of the most confident people in Rutherford County. How 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 accessible is he to them? And so even though it is so hard because you think, what's an 11-year-old going to get from a 40-year-old man? A tremendous amount, you know. And so sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's putting them around older kids. Well, sometimes. hold on, hold on. I, I want to pick your brain on that because yeah. I, that needs to be codified out, Weatherman. Okay. Nicholas around Michael Bird. What, because he's got access to Michael. We've been around, He's yeah. a, we're around each other quite a bit. Now, what if Michael doesn't really acknowledge him? Is that still helping Nicholas? Uh, I, you know, the thing now, and I'm not picking on Michael Burke because I do the same thing a lot of times. If Michael Burke won't take the time to instill something in this young man's life, then he's missing his true calling in life because there's nothing more powerful than creating the next generation stronger. Mm-hmm. And so if, if he goes and says, hey, Nicholas, let me have about three minutes with you. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, the our engagement party... It was uh, me and Nicholas. We we're sitting down at the table, and Bert came over, and Woodall was over there. And Bert pretty much said, "Hey, I'm your uncle now. If you ever need anything, I mean, That's so so, so I mean, cool. the, he was saying that Woodall was saying the same yeah. things. Where I don't know how it made Nicholas feel, but I, I do agree. Getting your kids around more confident people, just the fact, hey, there's brother Woodall. I was just talking about you, brother Woodall. Getting them around people that have confidence." They, they mirror, they yeah. watch, and then they're going to start operating. Tony Woodall was the person that that changed my uh, my confidence meter because I always looked at confidence as something that I had. Yeah. Hey, I got this nice house. I got this. I got blah, blah, blah. Well, I do believe God teaches you lessons, and he'll remove things. He removed just about everything I owned in 2009, and uh, Woodall came over and we were at this model home in Scottish Glen and he, he pointed to a tree and he was talking about how a tree grows, how he, he talked about growing internally. Yeah. And, and I see, I didn't, I never operated off internal confidence. Everything I wanted to get was external because I thought it made me yeah. better. Visual. Visual. Mm-hmm. So me and Woodall would, uh, we would stay together. I would just soak up his knowledge wherever he was. I was just so, just hungry for wanting to know how could I become more confident. And you know, it was probably about a three or four year transformation, and I I started to kind of get it. Now there's still times where you catch me speaking 
a lack of confidence. Man, we can't do that. I can't do that. No, there's no way that's going to work. And it all starts with what I'm telling myself. It's all I've already lost because I'm I'm all I'm already giving myself permission to not do it. I'm already presenting doubt to my brain. Good luck today, Heather Dalburn. Hers, she today, I think hers is, is the yeah. Is hey, I'm voting for you yeah. today, get yeah. girly girl. Internal is motivation. External is inspiration. Blake Duncan. Now mm. we need to get that guy yeah, here yeah. one day. Maybe he'll want it. Blake, you can come, but you can't sit in my seat. You can sit somewhere over right here. Charlie right <laughs> spot. But Weatherman has always helped me understand you don't motivate everybody the same. Right. Some people need this. Some people need that. And I, I can tend to be more of the old school hard ass mm -hmm. talk, talk down, which a lot of times what that does is they don't hear my words. They, they feel the pain that I'm putting on them. And what it does, it does not motivate them. It does not inspire them. So I think you've got to find ways. Everybody's motivated different. Yep. And you've got to find a way. See, Cousin Charlie, well, I can say this right here. Cousin Charlie, I don't, <laughs> no offense, I just don't think you can do that. How would that make you feel? Yes, I can do that. To me, that's very motivational. It is very motivational. Whether man, if I were to come to you and say, Weatherman, well, I don't think you can do that. How would you take that? <laughs> you know, first of all, I'd probably reprimand you from speaking negative into me <laughs> and then I would say you know I don't have to do that if I you know what I mean because I I already know that what's going to happen to me is already ordained to happen to me and so if I sell 25 houses if I sell 40 houses there's a reason and I'm content with that and that doesn't mean I don't want more it mm -hmm. means that obviously there's a reason why mm -hmm. I'm at this mm -hmm. point that's right and so it's for somebody else your that's life right. is not for you I can tell you that right yeah. now. You're not living your life for you. You're mm -hmm. living your life for the people around you. You're living your life mm -hmm. for your next year race mm -hmm. and your wife. And so, you know, what happens a lot of times we get selfish in this world That's and right. it's all about us. We mm -hmm. want to drive the nice things. We want to have this stuff. And it's like, look what I got instead of look what I can give. Mm -hmm. Tom Gavin, thank you for getting on here. Rockin' Ronnie Martin, Jessica Blackwell, what's shaking? How do you guys build and maintain your, your confidence? Ronnie Martin, I know he's a very man. confident person because he... It oozes out of him, man. I'll tell you what. A lot of confidence, a lot of poise. That's why you should be voting for Ronnie he's Martin by me, August, man. I think it is. Good word. Well, hey, brother, what all you're on here? Speak up. Tell Tony what all. Tell us. You're probably driving down the road, texting, <laughs> doing whatever. What is one thing you would tell people that you need to do X to help your confidence? I think Duncan needs the confidence. He's sharp. He is sharp. Is he trying to hijack this show? Hey. Is this the Blake Duncan show? <laughs> Morning, I'm just, I, I'm just kidding. Duncan. I'm just kidding, Blake. We really appreciate yeah. the value that you're bringing, your perspective. You can tell you've done a lot of self-work, buddy. You know, if anybody's ever talked to Tony Woodall, they realize he has this generous spirit that he really cares. And Uncle really Bill, what's up, buddy? To, he really wants you to just be great. And he's got this big smile. Yep. And so, man, that, you know, that that's very, very contagious as well. And it, it, it's hard to leave away from him and not feel better about yourself. And that's a true gift that he has. And my you got to know it better than Hey, anybody. my old teacher, common sense is most important. Let me tell you a gift that Tony Woodall has that I was thinking about the other day. It's the Blake Duncan Tony Woodall show today on the morning <laughs> grind. One unique gift Tony Woodall has, a lot of times whenever people – uh, want to help what they do is they try to dominate your thoughts mm -hmm. you know like if i'm if i'm motivated i might come in here and tell everybody like when i come back from 10x how i'm trying to do yeah what all has an ability to wait for you to come to him yep. he'll give you a little bit but he don't he don't flood you with more information he gives you a little bit then he waits then he gives i mean it's He's got a very, very uh, unique gift when it comes to how he educates people because I'm the kind of person I want to just kind of force all this stuff over <laughs> you in a 14-hour period. Woodall, he is so good at he'll say something, then he steps back. And what it does, it makes you want to ask more. Mm -hmm. Then more. Why ain't this dude sitting here telling me more? I want to know more. It also makes and you open up. <laughs> it makes you expose yourself. So, Which cousin, is, very good. is cousin Charlie in here today? He's half of it. Cousin yeah. Charlie, what is one thing you think you can do to make your confidence meter go to the level you want it to? That beard is one thing I like it. I tell you one thing that I've learned. Tell me, you, you've got to always be true to yourself. 
I can't be you. I can't be wedding right. man. Yeah. I've got to be myself. Yeah. And, and that is the one thing is I, you've got to stay true to your roots. Yeah. I know so many people that they've tried to be somebody else and they get that short term, like, mm -hmm. look at me, but then they have a harder fall. And so by being true to themselves and who to, who they are, the, it, it'll help in some ways, I think, keep them on the right track. Yeah. And then they slowly take little bits. Like, one of the things that's helped me is surrounding myself around people that are bringing me up. Yeah. I get bits and pieces from y'all, from Tommy, from you, and I take them, but I still... But, you know, oh, I, I fit them to my mold. Yeah. And, and that's one thing that I think has kept me true. Mm -hmm. and, and it helped motivate me. Well, I'm going to tell you what, what one thing that will always keep me insecure or less confidence. Hey, hey, Michelle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> one thing, One thing that's always going to hurt me with my confidence that's, is I want more. I'm driven to always be more. Yeah. Always do more. Always have more. Because of that drive. It's because there is an insecurity. And I just gotta admit that. Yeah. Driven people I think are insecure because whenever you have whenever a lot of confident people are like I've seen and I don't wanna pick on, but I've gone to like old farm towns. I've gone to places yeah. where these old farmers have so much confidence because they really don't want anything else. They're yeah. very, very happy with their life. Yeah. They're, They're very peace. fulfilled. Yeah. They're very fulfilled. Therefore, they don't try to impress you. Yeah. They don't try to. They don't try to change your opinion of them. They are who they are, and they operate with so much more confidence. Right. Me, on the other hand, there's still so many things I want. There's so many things I'm driven by, and it's coming from some form of an insecurity. Right. And I think it's okay. People are afraid to say I'm insecure. Yeah. I lack confidence. Well, think There's, about this. You're fighting your way. The way you're driven, you're fighting your way up the mountain. Mm -hmm. Clawing, scratching. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to get to the top of the mountain? Because of some insecurity that's, got, to see you. That, that's tied to my past. There's yep. something yep. growing up in my past that it was such a wound, and we all have wounds when yep. we're growing up. There's something in my past that will cause me to never be fulfilled. Yeah. What all said something. Yeah, what did, say something, something. He, it was like 14 paragraphs. <laughs> what do you say, Cousin Charlie? You Charlie can, reads a lot. Read it out. Carry on. My girl Paige, what's up, girl? But see, you have to constantly stay aware of where your default is set. Most, let's see, most of our default are set on insecurity and we don't even know it. So you walk through the day, you're constantly resetting your default to I am and I will. Oh, that's, that's what this guy says right here. I'm about to sneeze. This could be ugly. Nah. <sighs> Bless you. <laughs> Woo! Bless you. Blake Duncan hey, that was said, a great sneeze. Blake Duncan says uh, it's best to give advice when the other person is seeking it, yep. asking for yep, it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. Uncle Bill Shaw, as you build your competence, you are building your confidence. That's right. Yeah. Some people can get extremely confident in areas that they know well. Richard Johnson, how you doing? How's Chattanooga? But other people, like at one time I posted on Facebook, would you rather have all the money in the world or all the confidence in the world? What would you rather have? See, I believe if you got all the confidence in the world, you can go out and get enough money that you'll never spend any more yeah. of it. I see a lot of people, I know a lot of people with a lot of money. Yeah. And they're confident in the ability to make money, but they're very insecure and have no confidence in a lot of other areas of their life. You know, the other day I pulled up to this apartment complex and there was this big boy. I mean, big boy. Yeah. And he was sitting up in this big chair without his shirt on and he was big. <laughs> and you know what? He owned it. Yeah. Like big this wide? No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. He was big. Yeah. And he was sitting up in that chair with no fear. Yeah. I'm over there operating. <laughs> Damn, I hope nobody's looking at me. I've got my shirt on. <laughs> Think about that. Think about the freedom. If you can just convince your mind, who cares? Yeah. I don't have to impress you by doing this. But, you know, there's just there's something in me that I'm going to want to accomplish more. Which is, you know, what's feeding this is an insecurity from my childhood. Yeah. You know, but and if you're driven, if you're a very hard driven person, I really believe it's fed from an insecurity. And that's okay. We're ashamed to admit we're insecure. Yeah. What Blake Duncan, the smartest guy. School systems teach independence and not teamwork. Only sports teaches teamwork. 
One of my pet peeves with the whole system. This plays a role in our thinking and evaluation oh. of our skills and talents. Man. Damn, man. Blake Duncan, what did you do before you got into the real world? Tell us. I need to know your. He he's must a, read. He does. You can tell. See, he's attracted to the Coach Burt. You know, yeah. you can tell when people are hungry for self improvement. Yeah. They say things like Blake Duncan. You know, they think in a different way. How long have we been going, kids? 22 minutes. Dang, we've gone over this morning. So, hey, I believe what Weatherman always tells me it all starts with what you're telling yourself. And I've got to get better at telling myself, hey, we can do this. I can talk school. Ah, there we go. Ah, smarty there guy. We go. So it's all, and coached, there okay, okay. So it all starts with what you're telling your mind. It starts with what you're being exposed to. It starts with who you're hanging around. All these things collaborate, and it helps form, shape your capacity of confidence. So I have got to continue. Confidence is the one thing that affects everything. When your confidence is down, there's a great chance a lot of other things are down. When your yeah. confidence, like in sales, if you get a sale, man, you kind of get a few right. more. When you don't get a sale, you attract just more, you know, no sales. Yeah. So, hey, everybody, hey. I can and I will vote today. Vote today. Judge Tidwell, man, I screwed up and I put you won't find a more, or you won't find an honorable man. I, I left out more honorable man, but I went in there and changed it. Everybody, thank you every day. Monday through Friday, we come on and we do the morning grind where we want to stop you from listening to those radio shows and listen to us. We got the weatherman, Cousin Charlie, and Kathleen, the machine. Everybody, have a great day. Go out and win. Tell yourself right now at 9 o'clock, hey, I'm going to make today better. Gooder. See ya.